Phase one has been uh, art making videos, which are um, mostly videos that are running in, in, in the terminal. It's, it's actually checkpoint two, uh, uh, and it's right next to American Airlines, and it, they've been running um, uh, numerous months now, almost six months. And uh, so it's, it's, they're time lapses of me making impromptu watercolor paintings. It's a great honor and privilege to be artist in residence at the Austin airport. We do see people looking at it and enjoying themselves. And the second phase, we did a combination of uh, meditation techniques and, and, and my artwork creation um, in the foreground and, the, and, 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 and a meditation practitioner basically suggesting uh, how to relax and meditate in the background. Let your mind become fully aware of your thoughts, your breath. The third phase is creating artwork specific uh, for the airport and uh, connecting it to a larger concept. And in, the, in this case, it, it's the universe. I think this is fantastic. I think this uh, studio is just amazing. Uh, this, we were very fortunate that this building is uh, kind of sparsely populated and there were some spare rooms. And uh, I, I just love, love it. I can, you know, there's, there's a conference table over here, which I never use, but uh, you know, there's just, just a lot of space here, a lot of uh, tables and racks and, and chairs that I, I I use and and um, it's it's and then the, the window is is, is is fabulous because I'm kind of you know I I, I don't like closed place spaces and uh, the window is amazing it's a natural light and I was thinking of bringing my own lights in here but you know there's just so much lighting here that I usually don't need to yeah. Yeah. And have you been able to meet a few of the airport staff here in this yeah. space? Yeah, actually, sometimes I leave the door open because, uh, you know, when I have uh, mixing my oils and stuff and, and, you know, you want to be well ventilated. And so the, there's people passing and then they come by and then say, well, you know, we've been coming in and, and you know, looking at the artwork and how it's progressing. So you know, uh, earlier on, they were all kind of like very uh, distant and very focused on their own work. But then as soon as they started the artwork developed, they were getting more and more curious. And, and that was really nice uh, to see. And so they come and compliment and ask me questions. and. That's very nice. And I'm really excited about uh, having the artwork uh, displayed. It's a little early right now because I still have to work on the, the other four panels. And I thought that, you know, doing four panels would be a good, good way to consolidate the concept and, and, and do justice to it. And also take it to a level where, you know, we are, are you know, giving ideas to the travelers in a way that they can, um, it gets their imagination going. And, uh, you know, when I start off, usually I, I start off more realistic, but then when I proceed, I, I, I become more and more imaginative and, and, uh, and, and, and more funky. <laughs> and I, I'm looking forward to that stage and, and, uh, and I'm, I'm sure the audience will also enjoy that. The third phase is creating artwork specific uh, for the airport and uh, connecting it to a larger concept. And in, the, in this case, it, it's the universe. I'm making four panels, and, and, the, and this one is the first of the four, four panels. Um, all, all of these panels are of five feet by seven feet. I wish we could make them lar larger, but we can't fit them in trucks and, and through doors. And that's been, um, that's an issue. And, and we have to kind of con keep ourselves a little confined in that respect. So. Um, and then um, we have another one sitting over here and I'm pretty anxious to start working on that one as well. Uh, this one that I started off with, my concept was to uh, tie in, in, in the airport with, with the universe. And uh, so and here we have the terminal and it's a night scene. So it's kind of like a twilight scene because you see a little bit of the teal uh, green of the sky. And then I painted this nebula, it's called the Butterfly Nebula NGC 6302. Then the Andromeda Galaxy, Andromeda Galaxy is the nearest galaxy to the Milky Way, and it's merging in with the Milky Way at a speed of 250,000 miles per hour. In one million years, it's going to become Milkdromeda. <laughs> so it's going to actually, you know, be part of, uh, you know, the, the solar system, or the solar system is gonna be part of that. So here it's Andromeda, and then that's a globular cluster over there. 
And then over there, I have a cluster of galaxies, which is a, it's called Higson Group uh, 40. So uh, this work is, is, is still a work in progress and it's not uh, complete yet. So I basically laid out everything. I think it's, I would say safely that it's a little more than two thirds done. I have to do detailing, especially on the planes here, more detailing um, with the, some of the galaxy and nebula, and then I'm going to throw in um, some more galaxies, like you know when you're looking in in, in some of these uh, deep space imagery. So you see these galaxies way out there in the distance. The farther off they are, the the more red they are, and the closer uh, they are, then they're they're blue. Some days I'll, I'll work. Uh, you know, for six or eight or 10 hours. And some days I'll just work for three or four hours. And some days uh, I wouldn't work, uh, some weeks I wouldn't only work two, two days a week. So it all depends, but I, I would, you know, I, I would ideally, I would like to finish it in the next um, five months at least. What is your favorite part of the art making process? Is it the planning or is it that detail work that you do? <laughs> well, the detail work is, is something you want to do because you want to, bring your best product forward you know you want to do your uh, you, you want to do your best you don't want to do something sloppy and and you want to do the highest quality of work and that's why you want to make sure that you you do the detailing properly and sometimes also you don't want to overdo it either because if you do overdo it then you're killing it again <laughs> and so uh, I think for me, the favorite part is uh, starting off on the painting and also kind of like middle ground. I would say that this stage that the painting is in right now, I, I would say this is, is would be my favorite part because I can see some of the some of the things that I, I compose and, and imagine uh, right there and then yeah, and you know and then I can work on the detailing. Although I, I, I feel that you know, I, I don't think I require an excessive amount of detailing in this one, but you know, it still does. But, um, and, and, and there's another secret I'd like to tell you, that usually when artists will paint on such a large scale, they will make uh, drawings and, and sketches and, and smaller paintings, and, and then they on, go on to the bigger one, or they'll do like a grid or something. I just, uh, Somehow I'm, I'm lucky, fortunate, somehow I do the calculations in my head, I do the composition in my head, and I'm able to just, just you know, just say, okay, this is how I want these things. I, I compose in my head and I just put it there and it all comes together. And that's how I mostly work. My name is Rubina Anjou. I am artist in residence at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. And of course, I have a website. The website is rubinaart.gallery or rubinaart.com. I've lived in Austin more than 25 years, so I consider myself an Austinite. I'm totally uh, in love with the city and, 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 and completely identify with it. And uh, I, I feel um, the, the, the weirdness of Austin and, and, and the, the, the fact that it's called the city of ideas is, is I feel very connected to that um, concept. And um, my overactive imagination really sets in, fits in pretty well with the, with the Austin Austin uh, weirdness and uh, the the idea city, and um, I, I, I think it's a very exciting city, and, and there's just a lot of uh, new things happening. It's grown a lot since I first was here uh, 25 years ago, and it's becoming a large sized city now. It was, earlier on, it was a medium sized city, and now it's it's becoming a, it's quite a hub. People are moving in from New York, California. So that's all very exciting. There's a lot of new business, new ideas. And so I feel that, um, you know, as an Austinite, I, I feel that uh, I want to do my part to, to um, make the city more, even more attractive uh, to the newcomers and of course, to all of us who've been here. I've been painting since I was a very young uh, person. You know, I raised a family of uh, three children, and, and so I was pretty engaged with my family. But at the same time, I kept in touch with art, and uh, I used to hold classes in, in, in libraries and, and rec centers, and I used to give them uh, free of cost uh, to, to the participants. And so uh, that was my uh, contribution that I made to Austin some time back. And, um, 
and I feel, um, and throughout, through that, I think that kept me connected while I was still raising a family. It kept me connected with art, and, uh, and I, I kept painting through the years. And then later on, when they, they became older, then I was able to focus more on it, and I created this uh, Planet Earth series, and I'm, I'm fascinated by satellite imagery of the, of the Earth, uh, which is, um, uh, you know, taken mostly by the Hubble Space Telescope uh, uh, and uh, also by the United States Geological Survey. So that my Planet Earth series was were taken from Landsat uh, 7 of the United States Geological Survey and I was completely um, overawed by these images and I started uh, creating uh, painting after painting and um, so, and I, I just had this, uh, I, I had this desire to paint on a large scale, hence, as you see uh, behind me. And, uh, and so I made these uh, large scale paintings, uh, 20 in total. I want to share this fascination I have with this universe that we actually all live in. You know, this is not just my universe, it's everyone's. And, and so the Earth is just a one very small part of it. And so we need to kind of open our minds and open our hearts and, and, and eyes to, 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 to the universe beyond and, and see all the wonders and, and fabulous uh, it, things that it has to offer. It's, and, and, and you know, now the telescopes are bringing in these amazing images, uh, these nebulae and galaxies and, and, and um, galaxy clusters and uh, it's, it's just, and then of course exoplanets now. <laughs> and in, when I'm doing my uh, impromptu artwork, I, I, I do a lot of exoplanet stuff. Sometimes I'm making, um, you know, plants of the exoplanet, creatures of exoplanet. But you know, it, it really is fascinating that what you know you can imagine pretty much anything. But what we have is is is, is real. It's true. It's coming in through the telescope. It's, it's the eyes of our satellite, our our technology is seeing that, and it is for us to assimilate that. And and enjoy that. I mean, it's 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 something something beyond television. It's something beyond somebody else is creating. It's something that you can create yourself. I feel that Austin Airport is really advancing, and I think you know with, with the new terminals, all the new airline, new stops that are being added. And I feel that you know I wanted to create uh, artwork that kind of showed that progress, and and that forward thinking. And um, what better than the universe? I think I spent a lot of time in solitude. I mean, like I'm, I like I only had one brother, so I would have a lot of ch uh, you know alone alone time play. And then you know I also was able to socialize with my extended family, my cousins and stuff. So I had a good balance. And I think you know you know I, I think that's uh, that's been re that really worked out for me. So I'm I'm outgoing. I'm 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 good with talking to people, but at the same time I I can when I'm alone I can I can focus. Do you think that places like airports will ever get the chance to travel to other planets or other universes? Well, absolutely, because you know it's it's like you know um, like SpaceX and and Virgin Air, um, like you know they, they're actually using the the current um, air air um, stations that are will available on planet Earth. And so it's, it's right from there that they're taking off into space. And, and whichever airport is, is, you know, builds the capability, and, and I think Austin has as good as chance or as, as, as good, a, a, you know, space, because we have, in Texas, you know, everything is big. <laughs> and we have a lot of room to create whatever else is needed to, to go into outer space. Um, I mean, space elevators is, is one concept. Uh, and definitely we can build a space, space elevator. And I, I, I really envision our um, um, spaceships going from Austin Air, Airport. It's, it's just a matter of time.